subject to search. First, let's talk about what Memphis in May is. This is basically the Super Bowl of competitive barbecue. Teams travel from all over the country to compete for the world championship title. Now there are three main categories. There's whole hog, there's ribs, and there's pork shoulder. It's all about the pig at Memphis in May. Our team is gonna be competing in whole hog. In addition to the three main meats, there are also what are called ancillary entries. So these are additional things that you can also turn in and be judged on. Everything from your t-shirt designs to your booth designs to barbecue sauces, an exotic category, turkey, chicken wings. Basically, if you can cook it on a smoker, they want you to turn it in and our team is entering everything. The contest itself is spread out over several days and takes place in the beautiful Tom Lee Park in Memphis next to the Mississippi River. We're here at Ground Zero for Memphis and May. This is the Bone Thug Barbecue Tent. We're competing with some of my favorite people in the barbecue world. We got Joe Pierce leading the team. We've got Michael Simon who is, I don't know, bringing the television crew. <laughs> Esther Choi has got some fantastic flair that she's bringing, very, very chefy deliciousness. And then we've got Luke with Old Virginia Smokers and a whole bunch of crew that's helping us keep things rolling, keep things delicious, and make sure that we get our turn-ins done in time. <laughs> okay, you've seen the space, you've met the team. Let's talk a little bit about what the schedule is going to look like for the next few days. All of the load in happened the last couple of days, but today is the first day we start cooking. It's Thursday. We're responsible for a turkey turn in, a chicken wing turn in, and three different sauces a classic tomato based sauce, a vinegar sauce, and a mustard sauce. In a team like this, the best thing that you really can do is divide and conquer. So we're each taking little bits today, and then everybody will jump in when it comes time to plating and making sure that our turn ins are beautiful, ready in the box, and make it to turn it on time. Woo! Just wrapped up turn-ins for day one. Memphis and May, we had our turkey turn-in today. We did some beautiful stuffed chicken wings and we also turned in three different sauces. Now it's in the judge's hands, but we also need a little bit of a break because tomorrow is the big day. I'm doing beef for our ancillary turn-in and it's all of our whole hog prep. So. For the rest of tonight, we just get to hang out, relax a little bit, and then prep a couple of briskets because I have a full overnight smoke happening tonight for a couple of briskets we're gonna be demoing and sampling at the Home Depot booth tomorrow. We need a nap. It's 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Nobody else is here, <laughs> but we gotta go get some briskets on the smoker. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Day two, Memphis in May, and it is one of the busiest days of the entire competition. Not only do we have to prep everything for our hogs today so they get on the smoker in time to be done by tomorrow, we have ancillary turn-ins as well. Today, there's a lot. There is beef and poultry and seafood and exotic. That means a lot of cooking. All of that is in addition to getting to say hi to all of the awesome people that are here and you know, smoking a couple of briskets. You saw us here 4.30 in the morning to get those briskets on and ready for a demo at Home Depot this afternoon. We're through almost all the turn-ins, but I gotta bail on my team right now before the last two boxes get flipped because I'm heading over to the Home Depot tent to do a brisket demo at three o'clock. And then maybe after that we can chill for a minute. <laughs>
what's going on? I'm just filming a video. And I really oh, need Luke hey, to look Excuse pissed. me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> We've hit the end of day two. Everything got turned in on time. All of the food that we tried was absolutely unbelievable. We did some beef burnt ends that tasted amazing. We had some duck bao buns. Chef Simon did some smoked salmon with this pickled mustard that looked like caviar. And what else do we have, Luke? Help me. Chicken. Joe, the world championship chicken cooker, made his beautiful chicken pillows. But here's the suck part, my friends. Uh, they walk around and they hand out certificates if you made it into the top 10, like if you placed in the top 10 before awards. And we did not get any certificates. No bueno. And we're just not like thrilled about it. Another early morning, day three. Not quite as early as yesterday. We're about to head through the gates. This is the day, okay? Everything leading up to this was fun and hard and hot, but now it's raining. Wait, 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 wait. And we got three pigs we gotta finish. Open the gates and seize the day. Don't Let's... be afraid and don't delay. That's that's the energy we're bringing to Whole Hog Day. Nothing amazing. can take us. Nothing can make us give our hogs away. Arise and seize the day. <laughs> My life is a musical. <laughs> Welcome to day three. This is the day at Memphis and May. This is whole hog day. And because Memphis is awesome and we do on-site judging with the judges, we have to make our site as beautiful as possible. I am not responsible nor capable, but I am a good set of working hands. I like to think I colored the place up a little bit. Yeah, we contribute in other ways. Uh, Michael is the mastermind behind the aesthetics and the vibe, and he's basically just ordering us around. And our job is to say, yes, chef, how he's, would you like this fence? He's the iron florist. The iron florist. <laughs> Day three. Boom. Let's go. crunch time as you can see we have transformed our whole entire tent to a place designed to wine and dine and wow our judges I mean we got 45 minutes until we start turning and I think about an hour until the judges show up we're getting close the scene is set somebody just said they were gonna take another anxiety pill <laughs> tensions are high but we are very 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 excited hopefully this goes over well turn in a blind box then you have on-site judging if you do well in the blind box you go to finals and that is where you get three judges in your tent at one time and only the top four judges only the top three get picked for finals so that's the goal today the blind box has to be good enough to get us into finals so it's kind of Joe's doing a lot of the legwork but we're all testing and watching and making sure this box is perfect from our booth to one of the top three uh, no, you're placers and finalists to help them deck out their booth. <laughs> Mississippi at Memphis 
resume and while we may not have got a top 10 call and you know all of the awards and accolades for someone that you had an amazing time you made an absolutely delicious barbecue and memories that for me will last my entire life when in my life would i have ever imagined that be able to cook barbecue at memphis and may with joe pierce michael simon craziest experience ever i'm leaving with you know some new burns and maybe a few new scratches but a ton of memories it was the greatest thing ever i hope you enjoyed following along seeing a little bit about what the hot things of our world looks like thanks for being here